So I've been here today as part of the Festival of Rugby 2015. It's St Mary's University, um, certainly from my university days, I know it was a thriving university with a, a huge rugby tradition. Uh, sadly, you know, things fell away a little bit, decline, and at the start of this season they only had seven players who were registered. So there was a big collaboration uh, between England 2015 and the RFU as part of uh, the Festival of Rugby and they've gone in, the RFU have provided some coaching to get them back into rugby. So my involvement today, surprise guest, uh, hopefully they all knew who I was, um, but yeah, just uh, you know, have a little chat with them. We've, we've done a really good warm up. Part of the Festival of Rugby is, is not only about bringing players back, it's also about finding new players, but it's also about finding new people into to local clubhouses. We want them to turn up at their local club. We want them to help with their local um, team, whether it's a local school team. We want them to maybe turn into referees if they suddenly get an you know, enthusiastic you know, part of their body that says, oh, I want to actually be running around, but I can't actually play. Anything to get people back in rugby. And the Festival of Rugby through the rugby themed events is a cracking way of doing it. This is the 1000th event uh, uh, with a very much a big hope of by 31st of October, which is the end of the festival, there will have been 1 million people who will have participated. So that, that's a massive total. Uh, but there are uh, you know, Festival of Rugby events still to go. You can get involved. Uh, you can go to uh, festivalofrugby2015.com. And if you are inc incredibly enthused, you can create your own event in the final two weeks and come up with something unique.